Guys, I'm going to say something that sounds weird. I think that this $200 knife is better than its $1,500 counterpart that's made very, very similar to it. This is the Katsu ZK02, and we're going to take a look at this thing from above. So guys, like I said in the intro, I guarantee there's a lot of you that are going to have a hard time believing what I said. This absolutely, I find to be better in a lot of ways than a $1,500 Rockstead. This is the Katsu Knives ZK02. This one is done in ZDP 189 13 uh, layer Damascus. Now I will tell you that this knife comes in, this specific knife comes in several different uh, variants. This is the most expensive. They also have one in ZDP 189 without the ladder Damascus that's done in just plain titanium without the stone wash, just blasted titanium. Um, and there are two other variants. I have one that is mine. This is the carbon fiber and 154 CM version. And there's also a G10 version, I believe, that still is in 154 CM. So we're going to get this out of the way because this is going to get its own video because I find this knife to be amazing. So let's move that. Get into some specs because this knife is really, really spec heavy. So this is titanium, four, a AL4V titanium done in a frame lock with a ZDP 189 13 layer Damascus blade that's coming in at 67 Rockwell, just like you would be getting on a Rockstead. It's done with a full convex, just like a Rockstead. Uh, rest of your specs, you're looking at an 8-inch overall, 4.5-inch blade, like I said, ZDP 189. 4-millimeter thickness on the blade. I will try to convert that down below for those of us that don't that use Freedom Units. Um, and it is coming in at 9.1 ounces. We'll do a couple quick size comparisons real quick. First off, what's in my pocket is this Steingrabber Performance Knives Lamia. This is an amazing, amazing knife. You're going to get a full review on that soon as I get done carrying it. Your next knife is the Benchmade 940, a knife that almost everyone's going to know as a size reference. And your final knife, as always, the Chris Reese Sabenza Large 21. You can see almost one for one on that. Let's get this out of the way and talk about this because this knife is really, really amazing. So I've always been a fan of the Rockstead knives, especially the Higo 2, which this is really similar to. Some people say this is a knockoff copy. It's not. There's a there's a, a list of differences between this and the Higo 2. Um, most notably, it's a little bit different in the size, blade shape, and deployment. But this is a great, great knife at the price. These are coming in at just about $200 for ZDP 189 at the same Rockwell hardness you're going to get out of a... Rockstead, and I've put it through its paces and it has held up. This thing has not needed sharpened at all. So you've got a full convex grind all the way down. This does have a small secondary bevel and you'll see it more pronounced on the other one. I'll show that to you in a second. The 13 layer Damascus on this done in a ZDP 189 is awesome. The action on this is super, super smooth. Deployment, I'm typically not a fan. As you guys know, I'm not a fan of top flippers and front flippers, but this one does it right. And the nice thing is you don't have a flipper tab. It gives you more of that traditional feel. This is done in a frame lock, running on bearings. And I say this thing is super, super smooth. There's zero friction in this. Uh, you have a full titanium backspacer that has been anodized along with titanium pocket clip. And the very, very little, it's got a very light detent, but it does not feel weak. You know what I mean? So as far as cutting, this thing has screamed through everything as you would expect, with the exception of some of the really thick, heavy cardboard, because it does have a bit of a thicker blade profile coming down to that convex. But everything else, just amazing. Cuts line, cuts paper, cuts cardboard typically anything you would throw at it i did do some kitchen tasks cut up some meat with this just like a scandy does a very good job of that this thing super super comfortable in hand it has got a very very clean feel to it um 
I did say that this has a secondary grind on it. You'll see that more pronounced on this one, which is the $86 154cm version. I did resharpen mine because it's not as hard, but it is very hard for 154cm. Um, this, like I said, this one's going to get its own review. Now, this is coming in on this. Now, I had to do the conversions. I found it. This is Vickers. Um, this is the Vickers scale, 899 Vickers, which is 67 Rockwell. Actually, it's 66.9 something Rockwell but we'll just go with 67. So this deployment on this is very similar, very Japanese style deployment, like you would see on a Higo no Kami, where you're going to pull that back and then you would keep your thumb on that as the lock, but this drops into a really good uh, lock up on this frame lock. So you don't have to worry about that. The fit and finish on this thing is exceptional. Uh, this has been in and out of my pocket for several weeks now. Um, you guys have saw the original, um, carry. It was, I, I'd say it's been about two weeks, not several weeks. It's probably been about two, two and a half weeks. And as you can see, I have done some cutting with it. Now, this is not a scratch in the blade. It's simply residue because I did not clean it. But there are some minor scratches in this. You can see that ZDP 189 held its finish really, really well. Um, the weight is nicely balanced. It's got a really, really neutral balance to it that feels really good, and it's not at all hot anywhere in the pocket. So I'll say that I do think there's a couple negative things about this, uh, but we'll talk about that after you guys hear real quick from Coffee Brand Coffee, this video's sponsor. Guys, you guys know I love coffee. I even have my own personalized coffee mug. But did you know that a lot of the coffee companies out there take a lot of the money that you give them that they should be throwing back into the company to make a better product and turn it into activism dollars? Coffee Brand Coffee does not do that. They take no stance politically any direction. They take all the money that they make and try to make a better product. So if you want to support this channel and a company that I absolutely do like the fact that they don't lean either direction politically, check out Coffee Brand Coffee. Coffee. There's a link down below that will save you 5% at checkout, or you can use the coupon code Crazy Sharp, all one word, capital C, capital S, Crazy Sharp, all one word. They also have cold brew coffee, teas, and cocos, freshly ground and roasted to order. So check them out, support them, and support this channel. So just a couple negative things. Um, I wish that the jimping here and here just weren't there. I really do wish they weren't there. I, I find that to be just, it's not that they're sharp or anything. None of the jimping on it is sharp. The jimping on it is actually pretty smooth, to tell you the truth. It's just fine on this flipper to give you a little bit of purchase, um, but it's not, it's not like it's really serving a purpose. And I just don't find it to be something I would really want in a knife. Next thing, I don't like this blackened finish on it. If this was mine, I would probably just take this and I would put it on uh, on a polishing wheel and polish off that black and then stonewash it just to give it a, a, a more complimentary look. I don't like the black on it. Or even something simpler, I think that this would have been better, honestly, as a liner lock. Uh, and I say that because even as much as I like this pocket clip, I didn't like this in and out of pocket as much because po pocket material, it didn't so much catch. It's not like these are really sharp, but that's a really big area and it's really close to the pocket clip and it kind of just drops in. I think that it would have been better if they'd done it in a liner lock like I did on this one where you're not having that. It's just smooth and it really feels good in hand. Now, I will say it does come with a sheath that you can wear scout carry style if you don't want to put it in your pocket which is how i carry the other one because it doesn't have a pocket clip so um other thing this ladder damascus because of the etch kind of gives you some friction in the cut um if i was to get one of these knives in zdp 189 it'd be the plain zdp 189 with the plain scales i think that would just serve me better for cutting and things like that but with that being said, there's very little negative on this. And considering that this is about $1,300 cheaper than a Rockstead, you're really not going to go wrong on that. Like I said, the Rockstead Higo 2, which is the knife that is most similar to this, is coming in at $1,500 and some change. So really, really hard to justify that price when there's something that comes close to it at such a cheaper price point. So now I will say in all transparency, I have to admit, I talked to the company 
Um, all of their stuff is sourced in Japan and then sent to China for assembly and finish. So it allows them to do that at a cheaper point. So it's not like it's 100% Chinese made knife. It's more along the lines of what you saw with that um, that Invicta from the Invictus from um, from Terrain 365, where it's it's sourced from several different companies, uh, and then then the final assembly and stuff is done in Japan. So it is not 100%. You know, it's a Japanese company having their stuff made in China or finished in China. So. That being said, guys, uh, let's turn this around to do some final thoughts and send you out about your day. So like I said, guys, the big thing about this is I'm willing to use this. That's one of the big things with the with the Rocksteads. They have that super high mirror polish on them and everybody's just afraid to use them. I know that there probably are some people, but for $1,500, a knife that I'm afraid of using, when you can get something comparable for $200, which I actually find to be a little better, than the he go to uh yeah absolutely all day and twice on sunday i'm going to tell you that this would be my choice so with that being said guys that's it on this one you're going to see a review of mine that i'm going to carry and use a lot more heavily uh because it is something that i'm going to use more i don't necessarily like this one as much as i like the cheaper version even cheaper so um guys that's it on this one if you like it give it a thumbs up if you don't like it give it a thumbs down but please try to tell me why i can't change the content if you don't tell me what you don't like if you want to support the channel i don't know i think i threw a coffee brand of coffee ad in but i also have tempered trail you can go visit their website both of those just check out their links there's discount codes built into those links um tempered trail they're offering the best almost indestructible laces you're going to find for your hiking boots or work shoes or just your general tennis shoes lots of different colors lots of stuff he also has hand stitched wallets and kilties for your boots he's coming up with a lot of different stuff that he's doing on that website I also have a coupon code at, at, uh, of Crazy Sharp, coupon code of Crazy Sharp over at Rosecraft Blades and FerrumForgeKnifeWorks.com. It saves you 5% at checkout at both of those. Um, there is a link down below to this company. Um, it is an affiliate link. If you use it, uh, you can purchase this. It doesn't cost you anything extra. It does support the channel if you're interested in these knives. I also have an Amazon store down below. Take that link, pin it to your browser, use it for any Amazon shopping you do. It doesn't cost you anything extra at checkout, and it does support the channel. And the final way is I have a tier-based membership where everyone has access to basically what is a private Discord uh, where we hang out. Everyone gets early access to videos the second I post them. I do exclusive content for those paying members. Baseline and premium guys are entered into giveaways that I do on the Gilded server for them specifically. And the premium guys have access to a sharpening tutorial series here on YouTube behind that paywall. Guys, that's it on this one. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comments section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I'll see you in the next video.